Good evening and welcome back to the channel. Today we are changing code P0191. Fuel rail pressure sensor circuit A. What's going on with this bad boy is she keeps stalling and it's a bad fuel pressure sensor so we gotta pop that sensor out. I'll show you guys how to do that in this video. If you guys want to see anything else done to the Mustang, stay tuned. I'm about to be doing a lot of things to this Mustang. New paint job, new bumpers, new new everything to this thing. It has a brand new engine in it that has 92,000 miles. So that's, that's a good step. The transmission's new. And then, of course, the truck over there, we're also doing something to that. That's from another, another topic, another video. The fuel pressure rail sensor is located right here. That and that, that pops off. There's the vacuum line. But when you take this out, there may be a little gas that gets around. That's why you put paper towel or something around there to kind of help soak it up. You do not want your car to even be started. Me, I haven't had this car started for about four days. So it's like perfect time to do this because there's no pressure. But if you have pressure on that line, it's going to shoot gas like crazy and could catch a fire and you do not want that so it's good to keep your car off for probably about a full day and then do that but it's a very simple thing you just pop this out put a new one in there you go but you don't also don't want to tighten these too tight you want to tighten them tight but you don't want to go way too tight Should be able to eventually just loosen them by hands once you break them free. All it is is a star Allen wrench. Sorry about it being nighttime, guys, but you gotta work when you gotta work. That's what you just pop up. Then you pop the other one right in. Today, we are using this standard when off fails AMP FPS5. It's for that code that I posted. The sensor looks like this. Same thing as this right here. Simply just goes right in. You connect that line to it, you connect that to it, you connect the plug right into here. When you put this in, you want to make sure it's seated into it good, and I'll get to detail on that so you guys can see that. Make sure it's very clean, not dirty. This guy right here, you, you see how dirty that is? We need something to put, wipe that down, clean that up, and then we set the new one in. This is how nasty it was. That's one paper towel. We're going to do another one and see if it still comes out that nasty clean paper towel you go up here you wipe I try to get down inside of it a little bit and you can kind of see how nice it is now with that wire out of the way it's definitely nice definitely looks clean this other one's connected right here you unconnect this line and you want to be nice and gentle with the line so you just want to work it off because if you don't you rip it then over here on this one you're going to have to take a screwdriver and push right here and you can pull it right off now when you put this one in here you want to push it down oh it seals And then you go back over here and you take your bolts and you simply tighten these bolts back down.
And you kind of want it snug, but not too tight because you don't want to break the fuel pressure rail line. Like that's perfect. And you take this, you slide this vacuum line back over here. Make sure it's on there good. And take this. Connect that. And this is where it becomes two people job. Why one person's inside the vehicle and they turn the cord to give that way it kicks the fuel pump on. The other person's gonna look over here and make sure nothing's leaking around here, make sure no gas is spilling out. Because you do not want to start the vehicle if gas is spilling out because you're gonna have a fire and it's just gonna catch everything on fire and it's not gonna be good. So you don't want to turn the vehicle completely on yet. You just want pressure to build up in the fuel rail system and then that'll tell you if it's leaking. And if it's leaking, you just go back and of course you fix it, you adjust it. So we're good. That's replaced, that's in, and there we go. That's a nice, simple fix, easy fix. You just want to make sure there's never any leaks around it. Because, like I said, you do not want a fire. You do not want it burning down. And gasoline can definitely burn stuff down. Once again, part number FPS5 sensor compatible. I think it was like 116 or 126 after tax altogether. And of course, I gotta clear that check engine code out because I just replaced that. She's idling good. She's idling really good. She sounds better. I erased all the codes. There you go. After we fixed it, so let's see if it fixes everything. Going on a test drive right now with it. My business card has not left the window. The window is down. Completely down. And my business card is still hanging off. Remember, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and Instagram. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.